today is cyber video log number 15. Uh, I've had a busy uh, past 24 hours uh, helping a family member, uh, you know, just kind of support them, clean for them, cook, you know, uh, make sure they, I'm just kind of present for them uh, if they need to talk about anything. So it's been pretty busy, didn't get too much chance to study. Uh, I was able to watch uh, Cyber War on Vice uh, one episode and uh, it was basically about uh, zero day attacks and uh, different comprom different uh, compr compromises uh, what was kind of discussed in the video um, one was Chrysler uh, Chrysler had uh, in their console in their system uh, someone could remote control because it was connected to the internet someone could remote control the whole car uh, and the guy the um, security researcher that found the exploit contacted Chrysler showed them what was going on and he said it took about nine months for them to to start to look at it and then after they publicized the exploit within a week it was fixed so and then what he happens is he got a Chrysler uh, showed the examples but then he was hardwired right into the Chrysler and it was showing all the exploits and what could be done. So it was pretty interesting. Uh, next was a security researcher was talking about all software, all code can be hacked. And it was kind of scary, like, and something I remind you guys at the end, you know, that software is hackable, being connected is vulnerable, is that she just said it outright, like all software can be hacked, right? And then I'm, I remember watching a couple of videos on that where someone was talking about data and it was like, it's either you, you have lost data or you will lose data. It's one of the two, right? It's not that you're, there's a, not a third option that you're never going to lose data, right? And it's the same thing when it comes to software, right? And like websites, I'm just thinking about that myself is like, there's, you have been hacked or you will be hacked. It's one of the two things, it's one of those two. So with this day and age of cybersecurity and all that, it's, you do your best to set up uh, redundancies. So if something does happen, you can restore very quickly. You set up barriers and different things to kind of, I don't wanna say stop, but you know, make it harder for anyone that wants to compromise your security, they have to go through layers and layers. And hopefully, you know, that the bots or scripts or whatever, if it's just like a, some sort of script running or software running, it's gonna, you know, stop at that, you know, barrier that you've set up. But if there's someone that's really malicious and wants to get in, you know, their level of skill and knowledge all depends on when they're going to get in. So your goal is to try to deter the person as best as possible. And that's what I was thinking, setting up deterrence. Um, as you can tell, I'm a little tired uh, and, you know, just didn't sleep much last night, probably about uh, two, three hours tops. So my mind's kind of a little bit out there. But yeah, that was kind of what I was, I was studying when it comes to cybersecurity. And just reminds me, guys, you gotta protect yourself. Like, do your best. Now, if you're in IT security, I mean, you're learning, you're learning, you're developing, and it's an ongoing, nonstop evolution. It's, it's like training. I mean, think of it like bodybuilding and weightlifting. You're going to put more resistance on yourself as you get stronger and the more harder challenges you're going to put against yourself So that's why for example like capture the flag and these different competitions that I've heard about um, Oh, I wanted to go back to Chrysler one thing I wanted to mention so The gentleman that was talking about you know, he notified Chrysler it took nine months then they fixed it in one week Chrysler was the first car company to set up a bounty program uh, in a bounty program, so if you guys don't know what that is, is a program that companies set up to let hackers hack into their systems 
under certain rules and regulations and guidelines right, to show or find any exploits. And if they find an exploit, one, they have to record, like, do what like ethical hacking does. You have to capture it, show print screens, you know, show your, your how you got in and where's the exploit. And then what they like to see is, you know, if you know how to fix it. So, and bounty pro all bounty programs are different. Uh, each company sets their own policy and procedure for bounty programs, and you have to follow it. If you don't follow it, I mean, you could be criminally. So it could be a criminal act. So you want to read the bounty programs and, and follow it. And they were saying during this show, uh, and I have to learn a lot more about bounty programs later when I become an ethical hacker, but they were saying with these bounty programs, uh, the one of the bigger reasons on a security researcher side, and what she was saying, the reason why these are coming out more is that they want to give hackers an opportunity not to to provide their information to hack ethically and to make money while they're doing it. So at least they have an options uh, to make a decision. Should I do this, should I do this and compromise this company just because I can, or should I do this and you know and show the company ethically what's going on and make some money and, and make a career out of this? So. That's really why, you know, I can see like bounty programs are really good because you've got a lot of very smart, very intelligent hackers out there. Uh, and for, to give them an option to do this ethically and support companies is a lot better way. And it uses the resources of these very smart individuals right, and groups to help secure your company and help provide them an option to do things correctly and to do things ethically. So that just come my, my opinion. Uh, other than that, that's kind of really what I've been working on. So just kind of hard because uh, I want to keep going, want to keep pushing. And the kind of the challenges that I'm running into, and this is why I'm doing the video logs, kind of just show the journey, the good and the bad, is that it seems like everything's coming up at once, right? trying to make money, trying to support myself, pay for everything, pay for rent, all that, while taking care of a family member, because I mean, for me, family comes first, right? Well, actually, to be to be honest, it's me, I come first, I gotta take care of myself, because if I don't have the energy, don't have the, the abundance, I can't take care of my family, right? Because if I'm sick or I'm not doing well, I can't help them, I have, I have no energy to do that. But take care of myself first, then take care of my family members, you know, my immediate family members. So the I, we, and all principle that I've talked about before. But just hard because, you know, I'm trying to make some some revenue, some income, especially when it's in IT, as, as you guys know, and as you know, um, you can get expensive and can add up very quickly. Hardware, software, net, setting up systems, setting up labs, things like that. Uh, doing exams, I mean, the exams are expensive, right? And then getting the uh, study material. There's a lot of good free resources out there, but to get ones that you gotta balance the free ones out with the ones that you need, you know, to pass the exam. So there might be study study guides, uh, online video courses, things like that. So, and like, I know there's like uh, Linda, Pluralsight, things like that for studying, you know, um, uh, videos online. Uh, what else? Um, just trying to think. Well, that's pr pretty much it for today's video. Again, it's been a long, long day, uh, and I'm going to get some rest, get some sleep. So, just remember, I always want to finish this video off. Software, software is hackable being connected is vulnerable. Just remember that as you're going through, through your day, you know, day in and day out, keep that in your mind of every application you work with, you know, every hardware you're playing with, or touching cameras, you, know, you name it. Software is hackable, being connected is vulnerable. Have a great day.